In this video, I'll show you how to connect any Ledger hardware wallet to MetaMask in three simple steps. This tutorial will be useful for people who want to take full advantage of DeFi and decentralized apps while keeping their assets safe with a Ledger. And during this tutorial, I'll be using the Nano X because it's my main device at the moment. You can find the link to buy one in the description below. But don't worry if you have any other Ledger device, as this tutorial works for all Ledger wallets. Whether we have a Ledger Nano S+, Plus, Nano X, or even the brand new Ledger Stacks, the steps will be pretty much the same. And with that being said, let's get started. But first things first, to successfully connect Ledger to MetaMask, you'll need two things. First, you need to set up your Ledger device. And if you're unsure how to do it, don't worry, I have a simple guide to help you with that. The link will be here in the corner or in the description below. After setting up your Ledger, you'll get 24 word secret phrase. Keep it safe. We won't be using it in this video because if we enter the secret phrase in MetaMask, our wallet could potentially be compromised and hacked. Basically, if you enter your secret phrase in MetaMask, it loses its status as a hardware wallet because the secret phrase is no longer protected by the Ledger chip. So there is only one correct and secure way to connect Ledger to MetaMask, which we will be covering in this video. Second, you will also need the official MetaMask browser extension. You can download it using the link in the description below, but if you'll search for MetaMask using Google, please make sure to double check that you downloaded it from the official website. Because I believe that the website of MetaMask is one of the most commonly faked websites in the world, and the easiest way to make sure it's real to find MetaMask's Twitter with a golden check mark and use the link they share on their profile. Okay, now that we've covered all the important points, let's move on to the laptop. Step 1. Installing MetaMask. Let's follow the link from the official MetaMask Twitter. And what we want to do here is click the download button and install MetaMask for Google Chrome. Yeah, if you're a macOS user, MetaMask works in all browsers except Safari. So before installing MetaMask, you'll also need to install Google Chrome or Brave. All right, let's click this download button. This will take us to the Chrome Web Store. Then click Add to Chrome and add extension. Once the extension is installed, MetaMask will instantly open on your computer. But before we proceed, click this puzzle icon and pin MetaMask to the top of your browser. This way it will be more convenient to use in the future. So this is what you'll see right after installing the extension. And first things first, what you need to do is click create a new wallet. And if you already have a seed phrase or other wallet besides, besides Ledger, you can use the import option and import any other wallet here but we are creating a new one, although we won't actually use it. This is only done to unlock the access to the interface. Click the I agree button, create a strong password and confirm it. Then click create a new wallet. Typically, it's time to secure the newly generated wallet, but we'll skip that step because we'll be using the seed phrase stored in our ledger. Therefore, we don't need the MetaMask seed phrase. So this time click remind me later and don't worry if you lose this MetaMask because everything stored on your hardware wallet will still be safe and won't disappear. So let me repeat it again. This wallet is only needed to unlock the interface and won't be associated with the ledger device in any way. So confirm your actions again and yeah, congratulations, we're almost there. Here's our MetaMask interface. Now that we're in the wallet, it's time to finally connect the ledger. Let's go ahead and click this icon at the top and then go into connect hardware wallet. Obviously, we have the ledger, so we're going to click ledger here. Now it's time to plug in your device. A pop-up with the name of your wallet should appear. But as you can see, MetaMask can't find the wallet even though it's connected to the computer via cable. This is because it's still locked. Let's unlock it. Also, if you have problems connecting or making transactions, there are three things you should check. First, make sure your wallet is unlocked. Yeah, that's obviously. Second one, you'll need to have the Ethereum app downloaded and opened on Ledger. So let's open it in the wallet, double click here, and yeah, we see that application is ready. Very nice. If you don't know how to download the Ethereum app on Ledger, I recommend checking out my setup guide it takes only five minutes to watch and it will answer all your questions. So, and if you've done everything right and the connection is still not working, there is one more thing you can try to fix the issue. Go to the wallet settings by clicking here at the top, click advanced, scroll all the way down and make sure that WebIT is selected in preferred ledger connection type. This can sometimes fix the connection issue, so just make sure that it's selected. 
Then you can scroll back up and close settings. Now everything should work correctly. So let's click continue. And as you can see, MetaMask has detected all my accounts on Ledger. Check the boxes next to ones you want to use. And yeah, click continue again. You typically don't need all of them, so I'm just going to do one for now and then go ahead and click unlock. Once you do that, you'll see that we are in the wallet. Yeah, officially. As you can see, I have a little bit of ether here and to make 100% sure that we've connected to Ledger, click on the arrow here at the top. In this dropdown, you can switch between wallets. This is the wallet we created at the beginning of the video. And below it, we see our ledger. It's indicated by a special icon right here. So, if you need to add more accounts from your hardware wallet, just go through the entire process from this video again and click the checkboxes for the wallets you want to add. And there you go. That's all you need to do to connect your ledger to MetaMask. Now you can securely buy NFTs, make transactions in DeFi, while all your funds are still stored on ledger. Yeah, basically, you now manage your ledger with MetaMask. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like more tutorials like this and which ones. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate any feedback in form of likes, subscriptions or comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to grab your free crypto using the links in the description below. See you in the next one.